Well, hello YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. Today, myself, Nick, and Corey are up here at the farm. We are just going to shoot some bows and fish. I need to finish sighting in my bow. Last that you saw, I had it sighted into 20 yards. I need to set my 40 pin, and then I will be good to go. What else? I haven't really shot my bow much because pretty much after I sighted it in last video, I was traveling for like two weeks. It was super sweet. I actually put in some photos now because it was pretty epic. It's cool. But now I'm back and it's time to get this bow, you know, really dialed in. So that's what we're doing today. I don't know if you guys can see, but my arrows in flight are being really wonky. I think it's because I need to tune my rest. Nick thinks it's because the spine of my arrow is too stiff. So these are 400 spine. My draw length is 27 and a half. And my poundage is probably about 52 or 53. So I don't know, I don't know what it is. I better figure it out. The season is so fast approaching. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get that like panic feeling just because like not everything is ready and I'm still like trying to order things online and like go out and buy things that I need. Just like silly last minute things that you're, you know, you don't realize until you like start packing for your next hunting trip and then you're like, oh crap, I don't have this. But yeah, so we're having fun. And then we're gonna fish, but right now it's all about the arrows and really focusing on technique. Tell me if you've experienced this. It's like I know the way that I want to shoot the bow but I've so consistently been doing it a certain way and it's been working for me. But I think that I could, you know, improve my groupings if I changed it up, but changing the way that you shoot is just like, it takes so long to, you know, start doing it consistently. So that's, that's the boat I'm in. Okay, so after just shooting a couple of rounds, here's my arrow situation. So I've got this guy who I shot through the other day. Fletching came off. These were, if you guys remember, my free balling at the Total Archery Challenge. I'm just always a hot mess in these videos. I, <laughs> I don't know what I do wrong, but in that video, I, was losing all my fletchings on arrows that I had fletched. I just used the wrong glue. I bought these arrows at like a local bow shop that like had something set up there. And okay, here's my other arrow, fletching. Can you see that? Fletching is coming off. And then this one, fletching came off. So I didn't fletch these ones, but clearly they suck. We did have plans to film an archery video and then things just went awry so <laughs> so we're sticking to fishing the guys caught a couple already I have been spending a lot of time getting this rod set up this rod is an old one Nick's uncle the same fella who gave us that Ithaca pump action shotgun gave us this sweet old fly rod so I got the real setup which took me a solid like 15 to 20 minutes because first time ever doing it watching a youtube video figuring it out i just tied a fly on and to be frank i have no clue like what this is i just know that it's a dry fly and uh <laughs> i don't know if it's gonna work on the bass today i bought this bass mouse rat which i'll show you guys I'll throw that on later, but I wanted to try something that I've used before just to get started.
Did you see the perch? Or not perch, bluegill. Yeah. So, I did a couple casts, and I just feel like they're not interested in this guy. Tying on a new fly, and this is a big sucker. This is called the Bass Mouse Rat. And I found it at the shop we were at, and I was like, Bass Mouse Rat? Sounds good to me. The other fly I was using, they just were so not interested in. So, I'm gonna change it up to my secret weapon. So, I just caught my first bass on a fly. Yeah, that was really cool. Looks like it's interesting because the knot is still there. I think he is it pot. Could he have just ripped that off? See that? Or my knot failed. I think my knot failed. That's okay. Comment below what the name of this fly is. <laughs> I could probably just look it up on the internet, but I think this will be fun. Oh yeah, Corey just landed another one. Okay, anyway, <laughs> this is the streamer that I caught those last two on. So, we're just gonna make this fun. Comment below and tell me what this thing is called. YouTube that is it thank you guys so so much for watching I apologize the video isn't longer we ran out of battery there was just like so many things going wrong today but that's okay it was still lots of fun first time catching bass on a fly rod which was so cool <laughs> share this with one of your angling buddies and please do subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video